Hey e Bears, how you doing? This is uh, Dreamer53-1980 uh, Anyway, I wanted to give you guys a uh, better view of these wuzzles other than the large picture that I have shown uh, Anyway, I'm going to start off with showing uh, each wuzzle one at a time This here is Walrus uh, He's part lamb, part walrus uh, He's got blue wings You can see his tag still very nicely intact little tail um, he's a cute little guy uh, anyway here's uh, Boris do one more little round uh, no tears no nothing he's beautiful condition almost like new he smells beautiful uh, let's see another cousin uh, this here uh, I actually have a wonderful wonderful uh, military wife who is online right now uh, she's been wanting to see this one here and uh, I figure I'm going to do this one for her just because she is a yeah, she, she's a military wife. You know we got to have respect for our military families. This here is Pandiver. Uh, Pandiver is part panda, as you can see from the eyes. Part beaver, as you can see from his tail. Uh, he's got these cute little pink wings. Uh, sorry, they just came from the bag in there. Uh, let's see, he's still got all his original tags. They're beautiful, almost like mint condition. Uh, anyway, Pandiver is very lovely. Um, all these uh, wuzzles are going to be coming with books, with their own books. Again, with the exception of Ty uh, Tycoon, as I never acquired his uh, book. So anyway, this is Pandiver. Uh, beautiful feeding, hair. That's our second wuzzle cousin. Our third wuzzle cousin coming up here will be Koala Keat. Here, we've got to brush his fur back on his eyes so he looks good. Uh, koala Keat is par, uh, part koala, as you can tell from his little ears, and part parakeet, comes from the beak. Anyway, uh, here we have his little tail. It's kind of in okay condition. His tag, however, is not in the greatest of condition. It has a little bit of fray at the end. Very, very fine fraying. Um, the letters are semi-fading. Um, but it says 1986 Hasbro Incorporated. Very, very beautiful toy. Uh, I mean, there are some out there that are in better condition, but this is still a find that you're not going to really find anywhere else, especially with this lot. Um, again, here we go. This is Koala Keat. So, that's number three. Number four, we are going to be showing Piggy Pine. Piggy Pine is part pig, part porky pine. Let's see if we can get her to spike her hair up like the good old 80s kids, you know, uh, let's see, here's her little wings, she's got almost like butterfly or dragonfly wings, they're very, very pretty, yeah, they're, butterfly. they're almost like a, uh, as I can tell, looks very nice, uh, sorry guys, that's my son, he's also being my commentator here tonight, mm -hmm. um, anyway, the tag on her is in very, very good condition, as you can see, uh, or at least I can try to show you as much as I can. Uh, right there, feed her in great condition. She comes from a smoke-free, not a pet-free home. Um, you know, we do have a cat, so uh, you know, that's yeah, pretty much what I can say on that. Anyway, this is Piggy Pine. So hi, Piggy Pine. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. We've got number five coming up here. Number five is a uh, wuzzle that was actually wuzzle cousin that was actually shown on the show. Uh, it was actually during the last episode, which was uh, it was the money tree. Anyway, uh, this here little fella is Tycoon. He is the one that he does not have a book. He is named Tycoon Love because him. because he is part tiger, uh, as you can see from his stripes, and part raccoon, as you can see from this part on here. Um, Anyway, uh, Tycoon is in very good condition. Uh, he does have his tag, which looks pretty neat there. Um, yeah, his eyes are in good condition as far as I can see. Um, it's got a couple little scuffs right in here, I'm not sure if you can tell. Um, let's see. So that's Tycoon. Uh, last puzzle cousin we have uh, for auction is Scowl. Scal is part skunk, part owl. Uh, he's beautiful, beautiful condition. Uh, he was actually him and Pandiver and Wolverus are actually the three most sought after Wuzzle cousins. Um, 
and the Wuzzle Cousins are beautiful, beautiful condition. Um, anyway, this here is Scal. Say hi, Scal. Hello. Uh, anyway, uh, Scal has his beak, which is in fantastic condition. His eyes are in beautiful condition, as you can see. Uh, I really hope you guys can see this. Uh, let's see. His tummy is great. His feet are nice and clean. His tail has a beautiful white stripe. Uh, doesn't even look, doesn't look like it's aged at all in 20 some years. I um, love him. And uh, so this is Scal. He actually comes with a book. It's uh, Scal Fixes Things or Scal Fixes Things for Croc. Uh, anyway, this is Scal. He is the last Wuzzle cousin that you will be receiving in your lot or separately if I decide to sell him that way. Uh, anyway, uh, coming up now will be the Wuzzle Babies. Um, the Wuzzle Babies, I'll be honest with you, I actually want to sell these together as a lot. They are a huge family. Uh, they've actually come from all different parts of the world. Um, I'll actually give you a little bit of, uh, yeah, I mean, I, okay, real quick, the Wuzzle Babies actually were made for the investors of the show uh, to keep the show going. However, it didn't exactly work that way. Other episodes were planned to be made. Um, Anyway, these are beautiful little critters. There was originally seven. The seventh one, I do not have. Uh, a lot of people say he's a myth, but um, I do not have him. I have seen. I saw him online maybe about nine years That's ago. Funny. He was uh, fantastic. He was actually his name was Woxy. He's part wolf, uh, part fox or something like that. Beautiful, beautiful creature. Fo part white wolf, part fox. But anyway, these are the Wuzzle Babies. Uh, two of them I'm going to show you together um, because they came from the same place. I actually bought them from a lady online. Um, wonderful, wonderful lady. She helped me uh, kind of start my collection. Uh, the first two are uh, Kitty Pen and Baby Moofly. Kitty Pen is part kitten. Uh, here she is. Uh, awesome, go get the door. Uh, part kitten and part penguin. She has her beautiful little wings in the back. She has her hair. Uh, you can style it whichever way you want. Is he going that way? Um, she has her little bib. Uh, just for future reference, uh, the bibs and everything are very, very, they're supposed to come with them. Uh, the only Wuzzle Baby that does not have its attachment would be the Chippadello that I will be showing you. Uh, she doesn't have her bonnet. Um, I am actually trying to acquire a bonnet right now for this auction, so if I do not get the uh, bonnet, I apologize, but yeah, they can still be made. So, uh, but this is Kitty Pen, and Kitty Pen and Moofly. This is Moofly. She is part cow and part dragonfly. You can see her little antennas up here, and she has her pink and white bonnet. Um, beautiful condition. Uh, this is her little tag which is still nice uh, along with kitty pens um, these two wuzzle babies actually came to me from uh, the United Kingdom um, yes I really don't want to separate this family that they become you know I guess inside each of our own little wuzzle brains you know we like to think that when we leave the room they're still one big happy family so and I'd like to keep try to keep them that way anyway uh, this is baby moofly and baby kitty pen these are two of the Wuzzle Babies that uh, came to me. Uh, they're probably the two that hold the dearest to my heart because I actually made a friend of the transaction. So uh, this here is two of the Wuzzle Babies. Coming up next, I actually have uh, two of our birdie type ones. Um, we have Baby Peep Squeak, who is part chicken, baby chicken. Uh, peeps, I guess they call them. And squeak would be for the mouse. She got a little squeaker tail and little squeaker ears. Uh, she is in fantastic condition. She has a green dotted, green and white dotted uh, bonnet. She has pale yellow wings with nice bright yellow uh, trim around them. She has a pink tail, her orange feet. Um, looking for a little tush tag, which I am not seeing at the moment. Um, Oddly enough, I've never looked. Um, anyway, I do not see a tush tag on this one here. Um, but following with the bird type would be Pupling. Pupling has his little bib. 
Um, sorry, switches over here. A uh, little bib. He's got his cute little feet, his purple body, his pale blue uh, little belly here, his cute little beak nose, which is very nice. There's no, really no scratches on him, as you can see through the eyes. At least I hope you guys can see that. Uh, his hair is still intact and tuft. Ah, Puppling actually has a uh, tag on the back here. Uh, very, very beautiful. Um, he has his little duck butt fe uh, feathers. So there he is. Quack, 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 quack. Bark. <laughs> um, anyway, Puppling is uh, another one of these prototypes along with Peep Squeak. Anyway, here they are. Uh, I'm not sure if I should if I'm going to be able to YouTube this or if I'm going to have to have everybody look at this on Facebook. So, uh, anyway, these are the little critters here. Uh, yeah, so right now we're going four out of six. The last one I'm going to show individually, um, just because they each have their own little stories that kind of mean a lot to me. Um, anyway, uh, the first one I'm going to show you is uh, he made a long trip to me a couple years ago. He was from France. Uh, he is actually one half of a twin. Uh, his name is Foxy. And he's a cute little guy. When I got him, he just, I don't know, he kind of took your heart away a bit, you know? So uh, this is Foxy. He's part fox, as you can see because of his tail. Um, he's part zebra, as you can see from his stripes. His eyes are in beautiful, beautiful condition. Um, he's got a little Can red mouth there. No. Um, he's got his little black nose. I apologize for the noise in the background. Uh, I've got three kids of my own here. Um, anyway, he's got his cute little bib. It's a uh, blue and white checkerboard. Um, and he came to me from France. And that's, uh, you know, pretty much his story. Uh, I was looking online for him. And, uh, yeah, he, he's just, he's a very good, uh, he's a good character, you know, he just kind of wins your heart, but as you can see, he has no little faults or flaws that I can tell, except, except for one, um, this is where his tag was, right in here, uh, it looks like the person from France who had gotten it, um, had actually trimmed this. And if you don't mind, I'm actually doing a uh, podcast here, so please stop. Well, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to keep mine. So, um, but yeah, this is where the thing was. Um, again, I do apologize for the interruptions. Uh, anyway, he is in fantastic condition, as far as I can tell. Um, he's got his little blue wings back here, as you guys can see. He's got his whole little head of hair. I'll actually stick that up for you guys right now. And the one here that... Uh, well, this is Foxy, everybody. Foxy. Again, if anybody has a Foxy out there, if I do not get rid of these, um, just let you guys know, I'll be more than happy to take a Foxy or another Foxy because I can actually uh, make a Foxy out of him. Uh, I actually had gotten a hold of one of the designers and he actually showed me how to make the Foxy, which was very nice. By the way, uh, artist, you know who you are who taught me that, so I wanted to just give a shout out and say thank you. Um, anyway, I'm a die-hard Wuzzle fan. Awesome. I actually run in the bedroom and grab me the books. I want to show those to the folks also. Uh, actually, this one here is a hard one for my son to let go of. Uh, this is Baby Chippadello. Um, yeah, Baby Chippadello came to us last Christmas. Uh, he was actually from our uh, a very, very wonderful lady online. Uh, she comes across these items over in the UK. Um, the tag is really faded, as you can see. Um, you can barely make out the writing on it, but he was the last one that we needed for our collection, and he's just absolutely great. We loved him. Um, thanks, Bubba. And hold on, hold on, hold on, right hold on. And, um, but this is Chippadello. He's part chipmunk. Uh, from, you see his little head and his chubby cheeks, and the little teeth up here. Um, at least I think their teeth are supposed to be anyway. Um, anyway, those are supposed to be the little teeth up in there. Um, he's got purple wing, I'm sorry, pink wings, color blend there for a second. He's got a beautiful shell like a armadillo, um, and it's got the cute little red stitch lines. Uh, so you guys can get all that. Uh, this is baby Chipadello, he's in great condition. 
Uh, he got a little bit of stuff right there on his nose. I'm sorry about that. Uh, that's the way the fluff goes. Anyway, uh, this is Baby <coughs> Chipadillo. Um, and that is the end of the Wuzzle Babies. However, uh, my son Austin wants me to show you guys some of the books here. And can I see this? Go ahead, here, you can say it. And this right here is Eller's Big Surprise. It's a good book. Okay, th th yeah, th this book here is Eller's Big mm -hmm. Surprise. Um, it's about when Eller you know, gets a hold on. surprise ticket, he gets a big surprise. Hold on, let's see. Uh, I actually want to show you guys you some things here. Uh, hold on one second, I'm going to go through this because some of these edition. books I actually have two of and I will actually give you the better copy of them. Mm -hmm. um, I believe this is actually my book from being a little kid. I actually will part with that one. Uh, yeah, this was my book of being a little kid, so that doesn't go to you guys. And this book here, it actually came from online. Uh, it came in a lot that I had gotten. This is part of the uh, thing. Also, you guys, during this lot, you will also receive the original Wuzzles, which are um, Butter Bear, uh, Bumble Lion, Moosel, Rhinoki, Ellaroot, and Hoppo. I actually have those in storage right now. Uh, they are in good condition, except for the fact of Bumble Lion, who actually his tail was stitched. Uh, it was like that whenever I bought it 10 years ago. Um, so I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on just, the, yeah, I mean, th those are coming free with the auction, so you can complete your thing. Um, anyway, this is the book, Ellaru's Big Surprise. Uh, no coloring in on the pages. Yeah, you can see the illustrations it's really quite beautiful he's helping me do not yell at him um, anyway these are the books um, again this is Ellaru's big adventure I'm sorry Ellaru's big surprise then comes Rhinoki's opening night I mean night yes. Rhinoki's opening night um, another good book it's in very nice condition uh, with the exception of the little bit of a nick on the side edge here, check the other one also. So that's, that's in good condition. Um, the back of the puzzle books. Um, anyway, that's another book here. Let me see. This one here is uh, Hoppo. This one here is Hoppopotamus Plays Detective. Um, anyway, another very good book. Uh, it's in good condition as far as the sides go. There are no drawings on the inside. From what I can see, sorry, Baba. It's okay. Um, yeah, it's just a really, really nice book. You know, beginning part shows all the houses of the land of Was. Then the back part shows the entire island of Was. Um, shows some of the things inside. You know, uh, let's see. I want to get through these before my camera dies out here. This Hi. here, oh no, that's a Wuzzle Cousin book. Uh, we're trying to go for the regular ones. Um, okay, next is Win One for the Bumble Lion. Uh, this is book four. Then you have the first book, which is uh, Butterbear Plants a Surprise. Another good book here. Um, oh, Moosel's Special Gift. Moosel's Special Gift. I have two of these. Um, if you would like both of them, let me know. Very good condition. Um, yeah, so they're both in great condition. Uh, both actually came from a winning lot. Um, both actually have very nice sidings. Um, again, this shows... Okay, this here shows... Yes. Sorry guys, let me say it real quick. Sorry guys, and this right here is Peter Venkman from that, that, Ghostbusters. That's Peter Venkman from the Ghostbusters my son's been looking for for if, like a week and a you, half yet. If you really like Ghostbusters, then go on YouTube and look for Ghostbusters Lego 3. You might want to see it. <laughs> That's my family so far. Uh, anyway, more of the book here. Um, anyway, Hello! I, I, I think, Austin, stop. Anyway, I think hard. that's it for those books. Um, I'm trying to do this here. Anyway, um, some of the books here. Uh, two, three, one, six, and nine. Okay, going in order. Um, we have Scal Fixes Things, which I don't know if I just did that one over. Um, anyway, we have Scal Fixes Things. He will go with your Scal. Um, we have Woolworths, uh, Woolworths' Sleepy Time Pal. This book alone was going on Amazon for 90-some dollars. 
Uh, I ain't gonna lie to you, I got lucky and got it in a uh, lot of Wuzzle books for like eight bucks. Um, the seller out there on eBay, you know, I just, uh, you totally wrapped up my series of books, especially the one that I wanted to see. This is going to be the hardest book to have to get rid of. Um, you know, but hey, I mean, I, if I'm going to give somebody a collection, I'm going to give them the whole collection. So, uh, anyway, that is more Sleepy Time Pal. Um, this here is uh, Piggy Pines Weighty Problem. Yeah, Weighty Problem. Uh, very, very good book. Good condition. Um, excellent condition. There's what the back of it. Have you snuzzled a wuzzle today? I know that looks backwards to you guys, but at least it's looking backwards on my camera. Uh, anyway, it's a great book. So I turn upside down. It looks any better. Nope, doesn't look any better. Uh, anyway, the other two books are uh, a hot tip for Pandiver. I actually have two of these books here. Uh, I'm actually going to hold on to one of them. So you guys are definitely going to get a set of, the, of the, all the books, except for the Tycoon. Uh, but this is a hot tip for Pandiver. The book is in very good condition. Uh, again, here's the back. Let me see. Here's the front of it. Shows you all the homes in the land of Was, and then the island of Was itself. There's Croc's house. Yeah, over here is King Croc's house. Anyway, uh, the oh, final book that, that we have one. is oh. Koala Keat Saves the Day. Mm -hmm. This here I had actually purchased from uh, the UK. Uh, it says Collector Book Nine, so I'm assuming that that would be like our equivalent to a book. Uh, six or book five anyway um, it's a very good book it's looks like it's a bit thinner than the other ones um, anyway here is Koala Keat saves the day um, again it has the homes uh, take you to the opening page let's see uh, have some of the wuzzles playing together there. It's really quite nice. Uh, we have a bunch of books here. So uh, we, I actually have a couple other wuzzle books. See, they actually did show some other stories. Uh, this is actually where the show was supposed to go. Um, there's Croc and Elleroo. So yeah, uh, this is the wuzzle lot I wanted to show you guys. Uh, <clears throat> also, just for you know, fun giggles. Uh, I actually got some of these things here, which I'm thinking about listing online later. I actually have a World of Wonders Teddy Ruxpin Anything Puppet. Uh, make that two puppets. And uh, better yet, other one. where is he? And here he is. There's another one. He, he, he's right here, but there should be one more. The other puppet. Anyway, we have a bunch of plushies. We have LB and... Twig. I also made his girlfriend, Buffy. <laughs> anyway, as you might know, uh, yeah, a bunch of more fun and goofy stuff to come. Um, yeah, anyway, this auction here is uh, supposed to help out with a lot of things, but um, wow, I don't know. This has just been a it's been fun showing them to you guys. I'm gonna try posting this one. And here's uh, the other. I'm, 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 one second, Bubba. Uh, I'm actually gonna try posting these on YouTube. If I can't post it on YouTube, I'm going to upload it on to Facebook. Um, oh, yeah, this is, he wants me to show you guys. This is a fob. So, um, anyway, this is Elf also. Yeah, he's my best buddy. The, he's not for sale. This is Austin's best buddy. Hey, Austin, how you doing? Ah, ah. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, we're just having fun. Yeah, it's going to be sad parting with some of our friends here. Uh, you know, so anyway, if you can, just uh, let me know what you think of the video. Um, maybe this will entice some of you guys to actually, you know, purchase or up that bid a bit. Uh, I know 800 bucks may be a lot, but, you know, honestly, for the collection you're getting and for the value of the stuffed animals, it's really not a bad price. Anyway, uh, wishing you all the very best. All my military families out there. Uh, God bless you if you're, you know, my brothers and sisters overseas, you know, uh, you know, make it back home safe. You got some families over here and friends. God bless y'all and you take care.